true rebels fight against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. Right, this should be the place. Somewhere beyond this door is the base of the Ballastone Resistance. Ready when you are. I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days. No, really. I should warn you. I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. I know their leader well enough. But it was never safe for me to... Hello! Hello! Maybe we've got the wrong place. Let's, um, you know, get out and... Don't move! We won't move if you won't shoot. Deal? You better tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is... well... That really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot... Listen! We're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down! I thought I gave the orders round here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Gotta be carried away. Walter. Glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. I had this whole plan, you see. But I... Well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Paige, I'd like you to meet. I know who she is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the princess here. She's not just a princess. She's a hero. Great. Give her a medal. No, no. I mean, she's a hero. Like her mother. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know she's any better? Well, let her prove it. It's not just me she needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Prove to them that they should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Today you have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause. And just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler.
It would seem your heroism has to be put to the test once again, madam. May I suggest that you return to the sanctuary and ins- Ah! I can't see a way to proceed without first gathering more- I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place being closed down. And I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. You think you're the only one who has problems? I'm sorry, I'm just... Look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go I hope you're not way. looking for somewhere to Gotta stay. Because this anyway. place is about to close for good. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiancé back. I tried to work up the courage to rescue him. Damn that ferret and his gang! They've got everyone living in fear, even me! But it... Oh, thank you. My poor love, it's been agony being apart from him. And it's about time those thugs face justice. The rough kind. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks, but now this! It's outrageous! I know where they are. They demanded I bring them the ransom in a week's time. But I'll bring them something better. Linda. You just cost me a bit of gold, love. I bet old Harriet take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, she's the bag man. And that gold doesn't leave her hands until my fiancé's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. Oh, Linda. I cannot tell you how elated I am to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with her burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiancé from whatever filthy corner you're keeping him in, or my associate is going to start collecting heads and piling them upon the table. My initial judgement of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart, after all. Lads, tear it out. This one a draw.
Your men are dead, Ferret. Unless you want to join them, let us in. It's open! You brought this on yourself, Ferret. This didn't have to happen. Well, it still doesn't. We merely got off on the wrong foot. I'm no threat to you without my men, and I'm only too happy to return your fiance. I can be quite accommodating. Get on with it, then. Well, the thing is, he's not actually on the premises exactly at the present time. He's incarcerated within a nearby facility, shall we say. That access hatch will provide you with, well, Access. The sewer? You fellows are a sophisticated lot. Please, go and get him. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. A gun. I really did mischaracterize you. Yeah. Well, I live in a bad neighborhood. I wonder whose fault that is. Now don't move. Who are you? Where's my fiance? She sent me to rescue you. Oh, are you qualified? I'm not sure I should just follow some complete stranger. Well, all right. I suppose it is a bit daft hanging around here. Those things are ghastly. If you'd have told me a year ago that one day I'd find myself wading through the sewers of Bowerstone Industrial, I would have thought you mad. In fact, if you said it today, I'd say the same thing. Because it is mad. There's just no other way to look at it. As if the smell and cloying damp weren't bad enough. Then there are swarms of bats. Oh, disgusting creatures. What the heck are those?
I never want to see one of those again. Hobbs, right? Oh, they're just as horrible as I've always heard. Children disappear from Bowerstone Industrial all the time. Their society's invisible bottom rung, so nobody notices. I hate to think how many end up down here. I know who's behind all this, by the way. Reaver. Nothing happens in Industrial without his say-so. I mean, really. Who else cares what happens to the homeless? Reaver wants that shelter so he can turn it into a whorehouse, or a casino or something. I suppose I should be flattered that such an important scumbag had me abducted. It's gonna be a good day when Reaver falls. He's done a lot of harm to a lot of decent people. We should be nearly there. Nearly back to... Linda. We made it. Look, before we go back to Linda, I, I just want to say, you were amazing. I, I mean, you are amazing. I used to use the word when I was telling my mates about Linda. But next to you, she looks a bit boring now, doesn't she? Do I really want to spend my life with a woman like that? What do you think? Well, what do you reckon? You're right. Better to stay with her. Maybe I couldn't do any better. Linda! Gerald! Ow! My head! Oh, that weasel Nigel Ferret must have struck me when my back was turned. Oh, darling, thank goodness you're all right. Thank you so much. You've saved the most important person in my life. I am forever in your debt. I was so worried about you. Yeah, thanks for that. I was all right, though. Thanks to my rescuer. My fearless, fast, cunning, agile, statuesque fireball of a rescuer. Did you miss me? Of course I did. Sure. Never gave any thought to anything except being back by your side. No. Oh. Come here. Gunpowder is the most destructive tool ever devised by man. It has forever changed the face of warfare, allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no... There are new items available. My father always said I should swing a sword, but oh dear, I nearly hit him with it. 
I love a pair of gloves like that. Yeah. Very stylish. Let me buy your unwanted items. Fair price paid. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double-checked every bit of it. I don't believe it! You're a hero! I mean, you're a real hero! That's just what we need! Salutations! We are three magi of great power! I am Madron of a Thousand Faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies! And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number! Oh, for goodness sake, Mark! My mum wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? Oh, yeah. The hero wakes. Long had she harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it! Philistine. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what she could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all of them... Excellent! The hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What? That's it? No clues to solve or anything? Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Ah, now you're talking. And so the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge, and far more exciting than rabbits. Yeah, bit predictable, though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realise you can't fight them, though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? 
Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the Princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! I am the evil Baron. And the Princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. Why? The hero's got to open the chest to beat the Baron. Oh, that's sloppy design, Jim. You shouldn't make anything like that essential. It's optional whether or not you open a chest. No man calls my design sloppy and walks away unscathed. You've been robbed. A wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let her open the chest. If all trimps are tromps, and all tromps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give her the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now she's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. You've received a new sword. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Hollow men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> And the killer monsters are... Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute. But also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben. You... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. 
There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. Maybe we should have put shields in the game. The hero will feast on chicken flesh tonight! That was just gross. This is murder most foul. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. That was funny. Oh, whatever we're going to do. I kind of feel bad for them. I always root for the underdog, or under chicken, as it were. Oh, I thought the hero was done for that time. And so the Why mighty hero triumphed the over the fire-breathing demonic... Um, chickens? Of doom! Anyway, on she ran, seeking a way out of these dark and gloomy the hero caverns. emerged into the light to find the evil baron at bay. Hero, you're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hob guard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> That's it. Kill her. Kill her. <laughs> Be a sport, and make them kill you! Stop killing my guards, you fiend! This cannot be! These hobs are no match for the hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. You hero! You're going to kill them all, aren't you? This cannot be! These hobs are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. to kill them all, aren't you? Excellent. Keep doing that until she's dead! This cannot be! Surely kill you! 
pump killing! Blast you! This cannot be! Stupid hero! My enemies will destroy you once and for all! Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now lay between her and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword that is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. Look, what part of I am immune to all weapons save one? Do you not understand? The sword! The Bane sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. Two girls kissing? Bit of a cliché. An incredibly hot cliché. It's ironic. It's a self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. <sighs> well, an incredibly hot self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death shrieks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Great work, my friends. You are fantastic! You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons! Well, that went well, don't you think? Uh-huh. Good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? The orb of interplanar transference. I think that Hero kept it. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artefact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. The Sanctuary Shop has some new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not have a look? The Armoury is at your disposal. Ah, hello!
sorry. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> I've heard that before. And the first few times you disappointed me, your clumsiness was sort of adorable in its way. But it's got a bit tired, hasn't it? My darling, please don't. I'm sorry. Please, let's not argue. It's so awful. <laughs> Awfully boring, you mean? Perhaps if you ever won, it would be more interesting. Oh, when I married my husband, he was all sweetness and smiles. And now he's all bitterness and bile. He bullies me. He berates me. It's horrible. He's horrible. But if I divorced him, he'd get half my fortune, which is quite a bit of money. Oh, I wish I was someone else. Wait. What if he was with someone else? If a girl like you were to approach him, chat him up, tell him you've got more money than I do, <laughs> he'd divorce me to marry you, and I'd be free and clear. Oh, of course, you wouldn't actually have to marry him. Once he's divorced me, you could just walk away. Oh, I'd love to see the look on his face then. I know it sounds repugnant, but this could be my only way out. Will you do it? You'll do it? Oh, this is the first good thing that's happened. What is it now? Don't tell me you want to talk about things. Oh, sorry. I thought you were my wife. Mm -hmm. Don't know how I could have confused someone like you for someone like her. So, what can I do for you? Well, hello. Hey! And out is. Can remember what to do. Can can remember what. Oh, turn around! I thought croquet was boring. I'm gonna give you a. Well, beautiful, you're quite a bit of fun, aren't you? Much more diverting than that wife of mine. Do you know, she spends all her time reading or gardening. So dull. I have some new things in stock you might like. I hope it brings you great happiness. Sail! Sail! Spared no expense. Thank you. I love it. So, what's on your mind, sweetheart? <laughs> You're the best, darling. I can't help being attracted to you. Oh, all right, well, you have to remind me, it's, um... And... This takes me back! <laughs> and... Oh, big finale! I, oh! I don't know about you, but I could do with a bit of... excitement. 
I like you, sweetie, quite a bit. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> <Lying>. <laughs> it's been lovely spending time with you. And it was exciting at first, flirting in my wife's house. But aren't you a bit bored? We should go somewhere. How about Brightwall Bridge? All right, darling, if you like. All this hand holding better be worth it, sweet cakes. Lovely view here, isn't it? And you don't ruin it with a lot of talk. You just stand there and look irresistible. Mm. Ah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> wow. You've done that before, I should think. That, or you have amazing instincts. I have to tell you, I've been with Wilma so long, I forgot how incredible it can feel to be with someone exciting. I want more. What do you say? We make a go of this? I'll leave Wilma, and you and I can be together. Of course, if we're going to get married, we'll need a ring. We could split the cost, but... That'd be awkward, using Wilma's money like that. That's not how we want to start. Today, I've got the gold, <laughs> so don't kick me out. I sell the best stuff in. Let's Bright see Wolf. what we can do for you. Oh, you've bought a fine item. Don't be a miser. Buy someone a present. You've got a ring, you've got a house. <laughs> You're going to be very hard to resist, aren't you? Go ahead and ask, and let's see how strong my resistance is. Will you marry me? Yeah, yeah! Now I just have to divorce Wilma. Oh, I wish I'd met you five years ago. Would have spared myself a lot of crushing boredom.
I've got news for you, Wilma. You're not going to like it, and let me tell you, that breaks my heart. Truly. I've decided we're not right for each other. Uh, more specifically, you're not right for me. So, here are the divorce papers. You may consider yourself an ex-wife. Vincent, I don't know what to say. Other than, thank you. Thank you for doing just what I knew you would. What? You planned this all along? Sorry to say. I'll file these with the city clerk first thing tomorrow morning, and then we are officially history. Thanks again. Well, my enterprising love, aren't you a piece of work? You make a deal with a housewife to split up her marriage and leave her husband penniless. <laughs> Rather underhanded, I would say. I wonder, just how despicable are you willing to be? Because, if I think this through logically, if she never makes it to that office, the divorce never happens. And then instead of marrying a hot-blooded divorcee, you'd be landing yourself a very wealthy widower. What? You can't mean... You'd kill me! Well, technically, she'd kill you. I'm sorry, Wilma, but it is a lot of money. You haven't left me much of a choice. To him, you can just walk away. This doesn't concern you anymore. No, <laughs> don't go. If I may say so, madam, you have succeeded most admirably in gaining a large measure of popular support among the locals. Oh, my I believe this would be a good tart. time to return to You're that rather really dreary to divorce home your true that your new love, rebel acquaintances you? like to call <laughs> home. You're unbelievable. You just tried to have me killed, and now you're trying to worm your way back into my heart. Tearing. Maybe we should have her these clothes as well. Out of my house. Well, all right. Fine. Ugh, you're a disappointment, Wilma. I wanted to make it work, but if you don't want to try, I'll leave. And I'm taking my rubies with me. Fine. I hope you choke on them. Welcome to the Sanctuary. I love what you've done with yourself. Doesn't have to be a lot. Just whatever you have on you.
Rebel Princess. I'm on my way to the castle. I'm telling you, I downed three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I've never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. Well, will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, there she is. Ask her yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a princess, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on, but we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here. You'll have to wear this. Great! Where's my costume? What, I still can't come? What, even after the Three Hollow Men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll... Stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. God. I knew I should have gone up to the castle this swiftly. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Ready to bite. No one on Bowerstone has goods are the cheapest. products. Really, they are. Maybe we can do a... S Come back any time. That's a fine item. There you go. Need any help? Great tattoo. Very nice indeed. Come back any time. That's a fine item. That's a fine item. You must be new here. Hello. How you doing?
You won't look so pretty when I'm done with you. Got ya! Go on, get it back! Oh, so that was a close one. This is all you've got, then? be best friends if I like people with an ass for a face. You remind me of an old friend. He was a twit, just like you. Look, it's a lady hero. You're not going to drone on about equal pay for equal work, are you? Try and parry her, you bloody fool! Better to block with your weapon than with your head! Just try to knock me around. I'll show you how a real mercenary fights. Right, kick ass, lads! And then we can have a nice cup of tea. We're gonna kill you anyway, so why not do the decent? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate you. If I had a friend like you, I could tell them secrets. Like that I'm going to set you on fire. Please, back ahead. Please. I was hoping you'd come round. I could use a good laugh. Keep it up and we'll be the victors. <laughs> Hmm, that really does suit you. Brings out the color in your eyes, shall we?
Bit late, aren't you? You've missed half the rituals and all the drinking. All we've got left is fizzy pop. Um, we apologise. Oh, yeah. Well, just give me the password and we'll forget all about it. All right? Uh, the password? No. I'm just pulling your leg. Come on in. Master Reeve will be happy to have a few more conscious people around for the final ceremony. I wasn't kidding about the fizzy pop, though. These lightweights drank the lot. There's probably some cooking sherry left in the kitchen if you're desperate. Nah, don't blame you. Never touch the stuff myself. Well, except in the mornings. I can sort you out a nice orgy later on, should the mood take you. What do you say? Just keep walking, you strange little man. Of course, of course, you'll have to pardon me, miss. I do have a habit of spouting the odd vulgarity. Master Weaver has often brought out his whip to rectify that very flaw with my character. It's just this way. Oh, you'll have such fun. Not drinks and orgies fun, you know, but it'll be a real laugh, I'm sure. Now, there are some ground rules. Master Reaver insists that nobody carries weapons into the ballroom. There have been some accidents. I'm afraid I need to keep mine. I'm here to find some friends. Oh, you're the brave noble rebels. Why didn't you say so? I'm an oppressed proletarian myself, you know. We're practically comrades. If you just go through these doors, you can sneak past the party and rescue your fellow revolutionaries. There's one of my men. Kid, are you all right? Get out, now! Where are the others? All dead. Reva knew you'd come. He's been waiting for you. What? I'll get him out. My, my, my! More busy little bees uh. here to steal uh. Reva's honey. Uh. So industrious, so committed, uh. so bloody uh. annoying. When will you people learn to enjoy life? I'll enjoy killing you. Does that count? Oh, you're just full of spunk, aren't you? A true heroine. You must be lightning under the bed sheets. And now, as promised, the evening's piece de la resistance. Another piece of the resistance. <laughs> Voila! Uh. 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 Do try to put on a good show for my guests, won't you? Show? You expect us to entertain you? Uh, but of course. It's just a game, my little sweet. The Wheel of Misfortune. It's rather simple. I spin, you die, we watch. Really? It's, it's a riot. <laughs> Why, no less than the most unsightly, most obnoxious creatures ever to contaminate this world. Super. You will laugh, you will cry, you will have your sinews gnawed upon. Bring out the Hobbs! Hey, why don't you pick on someone you have to say? I don't know about you, but I find Hobbs rather sexy. I like a big mouth. In fact, I require a big mouth. These ugly things are tougher than they look. Oh, that hog doesn't know what day it is. Then again, it probably never did. D 
Dear me! I hope there are no miners in the audience. Is it just me, or do they feel squishy when you hit them? I'm gonna... That hob is dead, ladies and gentlemen. He is deceased. He is no more. He has shuffled off this mortal coil. You can say what you like about hogs, but you can't dispute their dress sense. So bold, so original, so fashion forward. Poor thing. If anyone would like to donate to my new hog charity, I'll arrange a funeral for the little mite. Or we can just flush him. Ooh, that hob's gonna be stiff in the morning. Well, stiffer than usual. It died doing what it loved. Entertaining rich people! I've got a good one in there. A good hit for the Valiant Rebel there. I'm rather proud of that shot. One almost feels sorry for those repugnant beasts. Then one shrugs and waits for the next piece of carnage. Reva's worse than I thought. What kind of mind dreams up something like this? Like the tales of my greatest conquests, the wheel simply demands to be spun. What delicious fate will it deliver this time? Ah, it's just not a real party without the elegant shuffles of these gentlemen, so hallowed and yet so hollow. Come on. The sooner we make our way through this sick game, the sooner we'll get our chance to kill Reva. Let the tearing of limbs commence! Chop, chop! This is turning out to be, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna tell your grandchildren you were here. You should have bought some Hatchie's Undead Insurance. Guaranteed to pay out in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Thank you. That corpse is taking one hell of a beating. I can shoot Weaver from here. What a shame! Cut down in the prime of death! Die, will you? If he wasn't dead before, come on, he must be now. We've been advised not to call them zombies. The Hollow Man Anti-Defamation League is getting strong all the time. It's a Hollow Man Massacre! this much in all my life.
Not a bad strike for someone afflicted with such rampant rigor mortis. He's gone down like a sack of spuds. Undead spuds. It may have been struck, but it will never stop. Unless, of course, it's struck a few more times and falls over. Satisfying sound of a corpse being thoroughly thrashed. Don't you love it? Oh, there's nothing worse than taking a hiding from a corpse. How embarrassing! a heartbreaking performance. The poetry of life and death was unmistakable, and you had to spoil it all by not dying. I'd read about hollow men before, but I'm not sure I ever believed in them. This better end soon. Oh, we'll let your exquisite circumference regale us with violent thrills. Ah, yes! I paid these bloodthirsty mercenaries out of my own pocket. With gold I took from the people, but still, they'd better not disappoint. Mercenaries. Finally. Something I know how to fight. Their literacy may be lacking, but they do have a way with swords. Away we go! Cripes, that must have hurt. I should know. Shot myself loads of times. Will the Dauntless Rebels survive this round? Well, probably, but it's good to see them suffer first, isn't it? I've never been shot before. What's it feel like, this? Get in there! Another belt in the chops and you'll beat the bugger! And another one to I've locked that. Let's try harder. That's the ticket, lad. Hammer her hard. The life of a mercenary is a short and brutish one. It was his first day as well. You can't stop me, can you? Yeah, a good blow. Oh dear, give me a moment. It feels like a death in the family. Okay, next one. Well, you ain't got much, but I guess I'll take it. Supposed to let them block you, you idiot. Oh, 
well better in than me. Stop her from shooting them! It helps if you picture Reaver's face on them. Oh, I love it when they fight back. I don't normally get to have so much fun. Come on, honestly. Today's mercenaries are just in it for the money. He should have blocked that, but he didn't. You're rubbish. Well, that's one way to earn your wages. I was bending the truth about having paid them. It was strictly a no-kill, no-deal arrangement. So you saved me a small fortune. Bravo! I've seen terrible things in my time, but never so much death. Reaver's gonna pay for this. Enough games, Reaver! Oh, but they're such fun, and my guests do so enjoy fun. Time for another spin! Oh, now, this is a very special round. Wait till you see what treasures I have in store for you next. What now? We can't keep fighting forever. I met these delightful creatures in a rather inhospitable land, far from the turgid green of Albion. I do love to bring two cultures together and see which one dies first. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sand Furies! You re Ooh, you should have done that acrobat thing you do. What's beneath those eerie helmets, do you think? A beautiful face? A misshapen monstrosity? I'd rather not find out, truth be told. You're just making them more angry, you know. I think she's all right, and uh, I think she's a she. It's so hard to tell. Whatever is under that suit, it's tough. These sand ladies are tough. It'll take more than that to bury one. Oh, such a shame. Back to the sands with her. Fury couldn't get out of the way in time. 
Oh, chat, chat, chat. It could have cartwheeled out of the way. Don't you agree? It should be a crime to kill such a graceful creature. Somebody please arrest that rebel. I think I'm in love. If you make me out alive, booby looby, my room's on the second floor. Senseless death! And if you're having trouble coping, buy a copy of my book, 101 Jokes for the Recently Bereaved. Wasn't that utterly enthralling? Of course, you should be ashamed of yourselves treating foreign visitors in such an unsociable manner. Oh, well. I really had enough of this. You holier-than-thou idealists, always thinking in the simplest, most binary of ways, but I quite agree. This game grows tiresome, and my guests, they grow restless. No need to get restless, sweetheart. Barry Hatch is here to take care of you. Fancy a quick jig? Oh, you're a rough one, ain't you? But I like that in a woman. You're just... Well, ha, wait, hey, Weaver! Help! No! Oh, dear. Do you brutes have any idea how hard it is to find good stuff? Still, one might as well enjoy the show. What's the use of a secret society without a little secret, after all? This is the last party I take you to. Look out! Well, I must say, you've made me out to be a somewhat poor host. Rather rude of you to dispose of all my guests. Now it's your turn, Reaver.
go, my dear girl. Why not stop all this bickering? The three of us could go up to my quarters and have a private party. Do you have any idea who this is? It's Logan's sister, the princess. The king's sister, a bona fide hero. Well, I wouldn't dream of coming between siblings. Well, that's, that's not strictly true. There was that time. <sighs> anyway, best of luck with this whole revolution hey, lark. Perhaps back. we'll meet again one day. Tatty bye. Bloody coward. Would someone mind getting us out of here now? I never thought I'd side with royal blood, but you're nothing like your brother. The Bowerstone Resistance will follow you without question. So long as you promise to change things when you take the throne. Poverty, children forced to work, people living in fear, you have to make it stop. I promise. All right, then. We should get back. We've got a revolution to plan. There are a lot of folks around here I could do without. But you? I like. You have the support of Bowerstone and its underground resistance, but you still have much to do before you can take Albion's throne. The speech will commence shortly! What's going on? All citizens gather at the castle for the king's message. The speech will commence short. This is never good. You should find out what it's about. I'd come with you, but there's a reason we stay underground. We'll see you at the base when it's over, alright? As you can see, your promise to Paige is now on the wall.
trust you are finding everything or... Ah, yes, I remember that look. <laughs> 